Hello everyone! Welcome to Math for Class. I am Mrs. Debbie Kapinpin of Apelo Cruz Elementary School and for today, I will be your teacher as we discuss Finding the Perimeter of Squares and Rectangles for quarter 3, week 6, day 4. Let us begin. First, let's identify or define what is perimeter. So, perimeter refers to the distance around a two-dimensional shape or polygon. To get or solve for the perimeter of a polygon, we just need to add all the sides. A square is a plane figure with four congruent parts. It means that each side of the square have the same measurement. Let's say that the side of a square measures two units. What will be its perimeter? Remember, to solve for the perimeter, we just sum up all the sides of the figure or the square. Let P represents perimeter and S1 for the sides. So we have P is equals to side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 plus side 4. Or we can easily use the formula P is equals to 4 times sides. Let's now substitute the given to the formula. So using the formula perimeter equals 4S or Perimeter equals 4 times sides. P is equals to 4 times 2 units. And 4 times 2 will give us a product of 8 units. The perimeter of the square is 8 units. What about a rectangle? A rectangle has 2 equal sides. It has two lengths and two widths. To solve for the perimeter of a rectangle, we can use the formula length plus length plus width plus width or we can also write it as perimeter equals 2 length plus 2 width. Or we can use the formula as perimeter equals length plus width times 2. Due to the pandemic, the city government issued a policy that all cart owners should put a plastic shield around their cart as one of the COVID-19 protocols. ISA has a rectangular shaped cart with a width of 3 meters and a length of 6 meters. How many meters of plastic will she need to put around her cart? To solve for the problem, we need to look for the perimeter of the cart with a width of 3 meters and a length of 6 meters. We know that to find the perimeter, we need to add all the sides of the polygon. In this word problem, we have a rectangular cart and we will use the following formula. Let's try first the first formula which is perimeter is equals to length plus length plus width plus width. Let's substitute the given. Perimeter is equals to 6 meters plus 6 meters plus 3 meters plus 3 meters. 6 meters plus 6 meters will give us a sum of 12 meters plus 3 meters plus 3 meters. 12 meters plus 3 meters will give us a total of 15 meters. 15 meters plus 3 meters will give us a total or sum of 18 meters. So, it means using the first formula, our perimeter is 18 meters. Let's try the second formula. Perimeter is equals to 
2 times length plus 2 times width. So we have perimeter is equals to open parenthesis 2 times 6 meters, close parenthesis plus open parenthesis 2 times 3 meters, close parenthesis. 2 times 6 will give us a product of 12 meters. And then 2 times 3 meters will give us a product of 6 meters. 12 meters plus 6 meters will give us a total of 18 meters. Let's try the last formula for the rectangle. Perimeter is equals to 2 open parenthesis length plus width close parenthesis. P is equals to 2 open parenthesis 6 meters plus 3 meters close parenthesis. We just have to copy down the 2 and then proceed on answering the formula or the equation inside the parenthesis, which is 6 meters plus 3 meters. 6 meters plus 3 meters will give us a total of 9 meters. And 2 times 9 meters will give us a product of 18 meters. Take note that any strategy you use, you can come up with the same answer. Before we answer our exercises on your module, remember that perimeter is the distance around the polygon or any plane figure with sides. To find the perimeter of a square, we use the formula perimeter equals 4 times sides. And for the rectangle, we can use perimeter is equals to length plus length plus width plus width or perimeter is equals to 2 times length plus 2 times width or we can opt to use perimeter is equals to 2 open parenthesis length plus width close parenthesis. We are through with our discussion for today. You may now answer the exercises on your module. But if you feel that you still need to explore, you may watch this video lesson again or ask a family member to study with you the explanation presented on your module. Good luck and have a great day!